ALS, so federal prosecutors say the three defendants in this case are all part of the right-wing militia group known as the Oath Keepers. They are accused of being integral parts of a larger conspiracy to stop, delay, or hinder Congress's certification of the electoral vote on that dark day, December 6th. Federal prosecutors say the eight to 10 people seen in this video outfitted in paramilitary equipment are members of the Oath Keepers, an anti-government militia focused on recruiting military law enforcement and first responders as their members. But the FBI says the Oath Keepers will accept anyone into their organization. And the FBI says it's an Ohio bar owner named Jessica Watkins, seen here, who investigators have on a recorded radio transmission telling other suspected Oath Keepers, quote, we have a good group. We have about 30 to 40 of us. We are sticking together and sticking to the plan. Court documents allege in a social media post that same day, Watkins shared a photo of one of her co-defendants, Donovan Crowell, who is from the same county in Ohio. Prosecutors say both are also members of the Ohio State Regular Militia. A third defendant in this case, 65-year-old Thomas Caldwell, is from Clark County, Virginia, and he is believed to have a leadership role within the Oath Keepers. The FBI included 13 different Facebook messages they say shows the three defendants, quote, planned and organized Oath Keepers activities to challenge the election results as far back as Christmas Eve 2020, 13 days before the attack on the Capitol. On December 30th, Caldwell allegedly writing, quote, this is our call to action, friends. See you on the 6th in Washington, D.C., along with two million other like-minded patriots. Prosecutors say the Facebook messages lay out how the alleged co-conspirators scouted out locations, gathered supplies, and organized the siege. On December 31st, Caldwell allegedly writing on Facebook, quote, it begins for real Jan 5 and 6 on Washington, D.C., when we mobilize in the streets. All three defendants are now charged with conspiracy, obstruction, destruction of government property, and entering a restricted building. This now brings the total to seven different defendants across a number of different cases who are now charged by the federal government with conspiracy in the raid on the U.S. Capitol. That's the latest reporting live tonight. Eric Fleck, WUSA 9. Yeah, the extent of that planning is just shocking. Eric, thank you. We know a lot of you want to keep up with how these Capitol riot cases are going. Our team of digital journalists is following every update. They've launched a weekly newsletter with a roundup of the big charges. To sign up, just email the word, text the word, I should say, email to that number on your screen. It's 202-895-5599.